Support for Radio Friends comes from LaBrunerie Financial, where they work to ensure a lifetime of financial security for people from all walks of life, from investment services to retirement plans. If you're looking for a trustworthy company that has the experience and knowledge to put your interests first, contact LaBrunerie Financial, a community-based investment counseling firm since 1966. Learn more at labrunery.com or by calling 573-449-5313. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, August the uh, 20th. We have Leslie Clay with us, Literacy Action Corps. Good to have you here. Good to be here. Uh, this is You've been on two or three times talking about this organization. Yes. But uh, explain what the Literacy Action Corps is. It's an organization, a nonprofit, founded in 1968. It's local, totally volunteer, where we teach people, adults, who have trouble reading, maybe illiterate or semi illiterate, we teach them reading. We teach people who do not speak English, adults who do not speak English, uh, English. And um, we've started to also teach. Um, ability to do math and um, we attempt to help people get their um, high school degree who adults again who right. didn't you are doing so much how many people have you assisted over the years oh my goodness i couldn't tell you we have about a hundred at any one time that uh, that we tutor you, and you tutor a hundred people at generally a hundred people at one time well it's one-on-one -on -one. right right but yeah at any one time we might have a hundred people that need help that we are tutoring and how many years has literacy action corps been around well it's been around since 1968 so you have literally helped thousands and thousands of people well one would hope yes yes of course you have <laughs> to learn to read and to write and to speak English. Yes. Now, you're looking for volunteers, correct? That's right. People, we need people that are native English speakers who are fully literate to help tutor those people that need it. Now, they don't necessarily have to be uh, in the educational system, right? No, they do not. So just ordinary people like me... Ordin yes, you could volunteer yeah. if you wanted. So, so just, you're just looking for ordinary people to volunteer to tutor. That's right. Now, do you teach the tutors how to tutor? Yes, we do. Uh, twice a year, we have a series of classes for those tutors. And uh, they, uh, th we're having one coming up soon, uh, beginning September 11. Mm -hmm. And for uh, five Tuesdays in a row, beginning September 11 in the evening so that people who are working can can come. So you have five, it's five, they have to attend all five classes. Well, they have to either attend five classes and we have started to tape classes so that if for some reason people have to leave early or come in late. They or can watch it. They can watch the tutoring uh, training, but it's best to actually be Okay, there. we're about out of time here, but how much, how much time is someone volunteering if they become a tutor? Well, we expect people to tutor perhaps one hour a week. Okay, that's And that not includes bad. preparation time, which uh, it can vary from five minutes to a half hour, depending okay. on what you want to do. So if people want more information on how to help out, how to become a tutor, they can go to your website, correct? They can. Okay. And it's all volunteer. It is all volunteer. All right. Leslie Clay, thank you so much for coming by. And the website, if you if you want more information, uh, tell you how to become a tutor and the classes for you, it's literacyactioncore.org. Okay? And on that website, it'll tell you that the, the classes start September the 11th. Uh, they go on every Tuesday for five weeks, correct? For five weeks. And then you can become a tutor and help out. All right? LiteracyActionCore.org. Now, now we're going to take a ride up to Fayette, the Ashley Hodge Gallery of American Arts. Ashby Hodge. Ashby Hodge, Hodge Gallery of Thank American Arts. Thank you, Art. Joe Geis, for correcting <laughs> me. The Ashby Hodge Gallery of American Arts. Correct. 
Okay, that's Joe Geis who corrected me, and Butch Murphy. Good to have both of you here. Thank you. Very happy to be here on this August day. Yeah, so what have you got going? Well, we are still celebrating, as you know, our 25th anniversary, and so this is our third anniversary show, which opens in early September, September the 2nd, and goes to November the 15th, and this is a two-part show uh, from from the uh, from the uh, gallery itself. We are doing a show, a one-man show, Robert McDonald Graham Jr., who was one of the great artists in our collection, and we have 50 paintings by him, and we're showing them. For the first time, we're using all three galleries for one artist. So we're, wow. Yes, because two of his two of his collections uh, are huge paintings. One is called Missouri Springs, the other called Missouri Heritage, so they are going to take up a lot of space, and then we have a lot of other paintings we're going to put okay, in. Okay, now we're looking at a picture right now oh, for oh, people yes. listening oh, on good. the radio. Yes, okay. Want to paint a picture of what, what uh, you have. Uh, that is one of the paintings from the uh, Missouri uh, Heritage uh, 12 paintings, and that is one of a very famous bank uh, called the Charter Bank uh, in Butler, uh, okay. in Butler, Missouri. Uh, that is, of course, we I think we know that. That's the Great Rotunda in the uh, capital uh, in Jeff City. Uh, that is a magnificent piece, huge piece, takes us almost a wall by itself. Uh, that is a uh, painting of the Thomas Wolfe home in Ashton, North Carolina. Uh, he did a series of 12 paintings down it's there. Is this watercolor? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, that's actually acrylic. Pardon me. That's okay. acrylic. Uh, but notice all these paintings show magnificent light. That's what we call this part of the show. We call this part of the show uh, the light fantastic because the light that you have here uh, in these paintings reminds you of what Caravaggio was doing with light back there in the Renaissance. Yeah. Uh, now, we've got four more pictures I want you to describe to our radio listeners, and they're of horses, right? Yes, and this is Dr. Murphy here who's okay. going to take over. He's the He is the welcome welcome new artists in the collection are uh, part of our show okay, and his Murphy. show is called Home on the Range Home on the Range and this it, it, this horse that we're looking at is looks like it's made out of um it's what? corrugated sheet metal corrugated uh, sheet metal it's all repurposed metal okay this was a uh, my interpretation of a Picasso piece uh, mm -hmm. called uh, um, these are all in a cubist style at least my interpretation oh those are really unique yeah. and, and beautiful yeah. and so I have seven horses in the show, and they're all abstract uh, horses. Uh, and they're, for the most part, all repurposed metal. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been doing these uh, sculptures. Uh, I started my studio in 2011, so it was a new adventure for me. Yeah. And influenced by uh, Doug Owen, who has some horses here in town, and Deborah Butterfield, uh, both nationally ranked uh, Sculptors of heart of uh, horses, mm -hmm. so they I got inspired by them, and then it, my stuff evolved in a different way. Okay, yeah. and, and the, these will all be at the Ashby Hodge Gallery of American Arts until when? Until November the fifteenth. Until yeah, November fifteenth. Yes. And you're open what Sundays, day? Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursday afternoons from one thirty to four thirty, and also by appointment. Oh, or, yes. We, also, we do, if, if somebody wants to come in on a Monday, uh, you'll make it. Oh, yeah, we do tours all the time. All yeah, right. Very, very Thank nice. you so much yeah. for coming by. Thank you. Come see the horses home on the range with okay. Dr. Butch Murphy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Joe and Butch. We appreciate it. Out of time. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>